Hey guys, it's Megan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today we're going to do a reformer Pilates class using the magic circle or Pilates ring. Um, I also like to call it the ring of fire. So let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to set your reformer up on three heavy springs. So that's three red springs for me. Now onto our reformers. We're going to place the ring between our ankles. And just one. Perfect. Heels onto the bar. Make sure you have that ring really secure and you're pressing into it, firing up those inner thighs. Hands are down, arms are long, and we're going to press through our heels and press that carriage out and in. So squeezing that ring with our ankles and bringing that carriage in. So engaging the, um, the glutes and the hamstrings, but also in those inner thighs. Good. You really want to try to keep your weight centered on your foot, feet, so you're not rolling in or out. And try to keep your foot nice and flexed and flat, like you're up against a wall. Good job. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one, come in halfway and little pulses for five, four, three, two, and one. Press all the way out and come on in. Good. Keep the ring between the ankles and you're just going to walk the feet down onto the balls of your feet. Onto the foot bar, you're going to keep your heels lifted, so nice high heels, squeezing that ankle still, start squeezing the ring between the ankles and pressing that carriage out and in. So still maintaining that nice connection with the inner thighs, but still keeping those heels lifted. And same thing here, you wanna keep the weight center. You're not rolling in or out on the foot. Get full extension. Good. You want to keep that nice neutral spine for five, four, three, two, last one. Stay all the way out. You're just going to lower the heels and lift. So you're still keeping the connection with the ring. And just lowering and lifting nice calf stretches or calf raises. For five, four, three, two, and one. Come in halfway, keep those heels lifted and just little pulses. Don't drop those heels, squeeze that ring for five, four, three, two, and one, press all the way out, and bend your knees and come on in. Good. From here, let's put our heels back onto that bar. If your headrest is up, go ahead and place it flat. We're going to do some bridging. So heels on the bar, arms are long, and we're going to press through those heels and really squeeze that ring with the ankles, but squeezing those glutes and coming into a nice shoulder bridge. Relaxing that chest, keep the chest soft, reaching those knees to the front wall. And slowly coming on down. So a nice spot articulation, squeezing that ring, squeezing those glutes, really lifting up, squeeze. And then slowly, like you're melting back into that reformer. Back up. Squeeze and down. So you want to keep squeezing those glutes through the whole process. Good. Let's go up for two more. And down. And then the last one. Come all the way up. Squeezing those glutes. And we're going to press that carriage all the way out. And again, so you want to maintain that high bridge. So push through those heels. 
So relax that chest and press that carriage all the way out and in. Good. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way in. Stay high in that bridge and just pulse those hips up, up, up. So squeezing those glutes, squeezing that ring for five, four, three, two, and one, and slowly come on down till your left back meets the carriage. Good, guys. We're going to come up for hundreds. So you want to scoot your shoulders down just from the shoulder, blip, shoulder blocks. You have a little bit more room. Hands are long. Legs up to tabletop. We're going to lift our head, neck, and shoulders up. Reach those arms long and extend those legs over the foot bar and start pumping. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. Inhale, exhale, 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 inhale, exhale. I'm going to try to do a hundred if I'm staying on track. It's hard. Exhale, just a few more guys. Inhale, exhale, last set. Inhale, exhale, stay there. Pulse those knees, those ankles together. Get those inner thighs for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those knees in and roll on down. Whew, good job. Good, so we're going to come on up. Slowly come on up, and we're going to do a spring change. So I'm going to drop my foot bar all the way down, and I'm going to take off all my heavy springs, and I'm going to place my light spring. So one blue spring, that's for me. I'm going to lay on my left side. So the hard part is, you want to put the ring between your ankles. So go ahead and put that in before you start laying down. And I'm going to use my left arm as a pillow. So I'm going to keep my legs nice and extended. Put some tension on that ring so it doesn't move. And I'm going to grab that strap in front of me. So I'm going to use a short strap if you have the option. Also, I have these bars behind my shoulder block. So I'm going to grab that with my left arm. Just to help um, help with my balance more. Okay? So from here, I'm going to... Put tension in that spring, and this, I'm sorry, my strap so it leaves the stopper. I'm going to push and squeeze that ring between my ankles, and I'm going to hover my left, my bottom leg, because this carriage is going to move. So that bottom leg is hovered. So a lot of muscles here. I'm going to bring my strap all the way down towards my waist and back up. So we're working shoulders, we're working inner thighs, and we're also working our hip adductors to keep our hip, um, our uh, legs lifted. Also, we're going to get into those obliques. So a lot of muscles working here. So really try to stay connected and engaged. Use your breath and inhale up. Think about keeping that spine nice and lengthened. Engage that core, navel to spine. We're going to add on to this in three, two, and one. Good. From here, we're going to sweep that arm straight in front of us and pull back. So these are going to get a little bit more difficult, especially with keeping our balance. So really, core is on here. Really strong obliques to keep our hips stacked and not allowing it to roll forward. So squeezing that ring between your ankles and keeping that bottom leg lifted for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Combine the two. So we're going to come up and straight down and sweep forward and straight back. Just a few here for four.
three, two, last one guys, you're strong, stay there, and then bring that strap all the way towards your waist, keeping it nice and long, and now we're going to squeeze that ring and we're going to lift the legs up, hitting that right oblique, for five, four, three, two, and one, last one, keep those legs straight and just pulse those ankles together, Hit those inner thighs for five, can be the smallest motion. Four, three, two, and one. Bend those knees and come on in. Good job. Let's come on up from laying down, and we're going to come on up. Keep that light spring, and I'm going to come into mermaid position. So I'm going to keep my left leg, my left shin up against the shoulder blocks, and my right leg comes in front of me like a cheerleader or senior portrait, whichever you like to call it. We're going to keep our ring and that strap we were just using. You have two sides of this nice little padded on the, on the ring. One side is going to be in your right hand and the other side, you're going to take your strap and you're going to ring it around as much as you can. Don't worry if it doesn't go all the way around. You're actually just going to hold that strap like this. So you want to stay nice, stacked, nice and tall. We're going to bring our arms up to a nice shoulder press. So it's going to come, arm comes up to shoulder level, and we're going to bring that up, and then that ring comes over our head like we're putting a crown on. So exhale, and inhale as you bring it over the head. So the challenging part here is really trying to keep your left arm, which is our working arm right now, at shoulder level. And you want to try to keep your spine nice and stacked and long. You don't want to lean towards the side. You want to keep stay center. Our right hand is just so long for the ride. Just kind of counterbalancing us by using it. Good. For five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring it to chest level. So now we're going to keep our hips square towards the camera and we're just going to rotate at the waistline, moving the rib cage and pressing the ring towards the front wall and rotate back to center. So we're just getting that nice little rotation of the spine, but our hips stay square and we're rotating at the waistline. So think about your rib cage moving with your waistline and getting that nice little shoulder press and chest press. Keep your arm up at shoulder level. For five, four, three, two, and one. Good. From here, we're going to take that ring and one of the soft padded sides, you're going to place it right under your bra line. And then you're going to take that strap and you're going to place it onto the other side of that ring, of the soft padded side. If it doesn't loop around, don't worry, just hold it there. It's like kind of like driving a school bus here, okay? This is, I like to use a ring in this um, exercise because I use more of my core here instead of my arms. So we're just going to let the strap naturally pull us towards that left side and then we're going to use our um, abdominals and our obliques to move that carriage. So we're getting a nice rotation and twist of that spine. Sitting nice and tall. You can close your eyes here and really just enjoy this nice stretch. And inhale as you bring that carriage home. So remember, the hips stay square towards the camera and think about moving the rib cage and your waistline. Engaging that core for three. Try to keep both hips down onto that carriage too. Two. And one, come back to center. Good job. 
job. Good, keep that ring and that strap just like so. And slowly come on up and we're gonna go around the world. So we're gonna come onto our knees and now I'm facing in front of my performer. I still have that left strap on one side of the ring. My right side is free, so there's nothing pulling me. We're still working this left side. I'm gonna come onto my knees. This is too much for the knees. You can stay seated towards the back, sitting onto your heels, or you can come down crisscross. Whatever works for you. I'm gonna stay nice and kneeling, hip distance apart from here. So this left side is gonna be working. So I'm gonna let, keep my hips square towards that front, and I'm gonna let the strap pull my waistline, and I'm gonna rotate towards that left side. Using my obliques, I'm gonna push it back to center and go into a chest press. So let that strap naturally pull you and rotate your waist, and then using your obliques to rotate back to center and pushing into that nice chest press. So keep your hips nice and square. You can actually push your hips forward to help with your balance. Good. So this is, feels really nice. It's a nice little stretch for our waist, but we're all actually really getting into that waistline, creating a nice waistline, getting into those obliques. For four, three, and also getting our chest and shoulders. Two, and one. Good, for this next step, you're gonna come back and you're gonna hinge towards your heels. You're not sitting fully back, you're just hinging back. And you can hinge forward too, so you're hovering over your heels, sorry, hinging forward, and then coming into a chest press. So with this hinge, we're getting into those glutes, but we're also getting a nice little cardio burst here depending how fast you go. Stay strong. Keep your posture. Burning out the chest, those shoulders. Getting into those glutes and raising the heart rate. So a lot working here. For five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down. Whew, feel that in my shoulder. Good. Last one here, guys. Keep the ring and strap in place. Just going to change the position of my left hand. So it's over the strap. I'm going to bring it to come under the strap. I'm going to sit back towards my heels, and now I'm just going to hit some triceps. I'm holding the, spot, the ring with both hands. I'm just bending at the elbow and extending. So nice little hinge forward. Try to keep the elbows nice and narrow. And you're just bending and extending. Really find that tricep engagement on that left side. And remember, try to keep your weight center. That left side's gonna wanna pull you. For five, four, three, two, and one, come on down. Good. Place that strap back onto your former. We're just gonna put our ring to the side for a quick second, and we're gonna do a quick plank variation. So, I'm going to bring my foot bar up one notch, just because it's going to give me more room on my platform. I'm gonna keep that blue spring, so it's a light spring, so if you're not there with your core, I will go to a heavier spring. I'm gonna place both hands onto my foot bar, sorry, my um, platform, I'm gonna walk my knees towards the edge of my carriage. So the knees at the edge. I'm gonna tuck my toes, and when you're ready, you're gonna press the carriage out into a plank. I'm gonna walk my feet just a little bit closer towards my springs. And from here, we're just gonna bend the knees in and out. I'm keeping a nice, flat back. My shoulders are staying stacked over my wrist. And I'm really pressing through those shoulders. I'm not sinking into them. So my legs are the only thing moving. I'm drawing my core closest to my spine. For four. Three. This is too much. You can just hold the plank. Two. And one. Push out. 
Now we're gonna bring our legs straight in and out. So a nice little plank here. Try to keep the legs nice and straight. Come onto the tiptoes as you make a nice V and lengthen in the side, spine back out. For five, four, let your head naturally follow. Three, two, and when not done, press all the way up to the plank and now you're gonna pivot your toes toward that right side. Keep your hips square to the ground, bend your knees in and out. So now we're hitting that left oblique. My toes are pointing towards that right side but my hips are trying to stay square to the ground. Shoulders are staying stacked. And I still have that nice flat back. Engaging that core for three, two, and one. Press out. Pivot your feet towards that right, left side. Same thing, bringing it in and out. So hitting that right oblique now. Really try to keep that nice flat back. You're just bringing the knees in and out for five, four, three, two, and one. Push out and go ahead, place both knees down and come into a child's pose. Whew. Take a nice deep breath here. And come on up. All right guys, so let's go ahead and grab our ring and we're going to start with the same thing that we did on the left side, but with the right side, and we're gonna come around. So we're gonna start with that kneeling variation. So I have my ring, and now I'm gonna grab my right strap, so it's closest to the wall here. I'm gonna place that strap around that one side of the nice padded part, and I'm gonna hold that other padded part in my left hand. I'm gonna push my feet up against the shoulder blocks and stay lifted onto my knees, and we're just gonna go into that nice Rotating towards that right side, using the obliques, and then pushing into a nice shoulder press. So same thing that we did to that left side, but now onto that right side. So like you said, you can push your hips forward here to help maintain your balance, but really think about keeping your hips square towards that front wall, and just rotating at the waistline, and allowing that strap to pull and rotate your hips, waist towards that right side. And then using those obliques to pull you back. Good. For five, four, three, two, and one, good. This next set, we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna start with hovering back towards your heels, not sitting, just hovering, and then coming up with the shoulder press. So working the shoulders, chest, glutes, but also bringing up the heart right here. Depending how fast you go. So if you wanna bring that heart rate up, put some speed into it, but don't lose your posture. So we're sitting back towards those heels. For five, feel those glutes fire up. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Last one, kneeling, facing the front. Remember, keeping the spring low, just this, I'm sorry, keeping the ring the same. And you're just going to put your hand underneath that ring so it doesn't get in, um, doesn't interfere with the strap when we go into our nice triceps. So hinging forward, sitting back towards our heels, squeezing that ring, and just bending at that elbow, and straightening it. So squeeze that ring to stay engaged, and just feel that right tricep working hard. The left arm is just along for the ride. For five, Four, three, two, and 
everyone. Come on down. Good. Now, let's go ahead. I'm going to have my back facing you guys. I'm going to place my right foot up against the shoulder block. And my left leg comes in front. I'm going to place that right strap onto this one side of that padded. And we're going to go right into that shoulder press overhead. So sitting nice and tall, bringing up and then back over my head. So placing my crown on and then taking it off. You can see I'm staying nice and stacked. I'm not leaning toward that left side. My arm stays up at shoulder level. For five, four, three, two, and one. Good. From here, we're just going to go into a nice shoulder press. So arms stay up at shoulder level, and we're just going into that shoulder press, rotating at the waistline, hips are staying square to that wall in front of us, and we haven't dropped our shoulders from shoulder, our arms from shoulder level. For five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, guys. Last one here. We're going to place that ring. We're going to place it right under our bra line. And we're going to place that other strap onto the other side of that padded. And we're going to drive that bust. So we're going to let it move with our waist and our rib cage. And our hips are staying square. And we're getting that nice rotation and twist of the spine. Try to keep your hips both onto the carriage, we're not lifting up, especially through that right hip. And we're just rotating. Let that strap pull you towards that right side and using your core and your obliques to move. Good, should feel good. For four, three, two, and one. Good job, guys. Let's go ahead. Let's place our foot bar all the way down. And we're going to come on up. And we're going to lay onto our side. So we're going to do that same thing on that left side, on the right side. So before we get started, I'm going to place the ring between my ankles. I'm going to use my right hand as a pillow, and I'm going to have the short strap in hand. And from here, I'm going to squeeze that ring, lifting my bottom leg off that carriage, and I'm going to pull that strap towards my waist and back up. So really lengthen through the spine here. You can see that my bottom leg is lifted. It's not resting on the carriage. And I'm squeezing that ring with my inner thighs. And I'm pulling that strap towards my waist and lifting. Good. We're stopping here. We're not stopping here. You want to make sure it stops where there's still tension in that ring. And try to keep your hips stacked on top of each other. We're going to add on in three, two, and one. Now let's swing that arm in front and pull back. Same thing, squeeze that ring, engaging all these muscles for three, two, and one. Let's combine the two, so creating an L. Down and sweep in front and back. So really use your core here, guys, and your obliques to keep your hips stacked and you're not rolling over to one side. Keeping your inner thighs engaged by squeezing that ring and adductors by keeping the weights lifted. For three, two, and the last one here. Bring that all the way down towards your waist. And from here, we're just going to lift those legs straight up. Keep those hips stacked. Don't roll back. Squeeze that ring for five. 
Feel that left oblique. Four, three, two, one. Last one here, guys. Squeeze those ankles together. Get those inner thighs for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it on in. Whew. And come on up. Good job. Good. From here, put a ring down for a second. And now, I'm going to switch to one red spring. So I'm going to remove my blue spring and I'm going to put one heavy spring on. And I'm going to take a quick sip of water. And we're going to grab our long boxes. So grab your long box, one heavy spring, so one red spring, and you want your ring in hand. So from here, this is going to be a little bit tricky to get into, so take your time. What you want to do, you're going to keep your feet on your platform, so you want to create a Pilates V. So you're on the balls of your feet onto pretty much the edge of your platform, keeping the heels together. So put your feet into that and then you'll kind of have your feet resting onto your, sorry, your knees resting onto your carriage. It's just to rest to get in. You're going to place your pubic bone at the end of your box. From here, squeezing those heels together, placing your hips onto that box. This might feel a little uncomfortable now, but don't worry, I swear it's worth it. You're going to press through those heels, pressing that carriage all the way out, sending those legs, and really lifting up through the spine. So we need a nice spine extension. Using our ring to lift up and then back down. So hold the ring in front of you. Heels, Pilates V. Press through the balls of your feet. Squeeze those heels. Full extension with those legs and lift. Putting tension on that ring. And back down. Good. So this is, should feel really good. You need a nice back extension. Squeezing through that ring. Let's stay up here and now place your crown back on and up. On and up. Really think about pushing those hips forward, lengthening through that spine, lifting up for four, three, two, and one. Come on down. Good. We're going to do that one, one more time, so stay with me. And if this is just not working for you, you can't get into it, it doesn't feel good, just skip this part and just take a nice little recovery. But if you're with me, let's do it one more time. Press through those heels, lengthen through those legs, come on up, really press those hips forward, and place our crown on and off. Keep your head gaze at the floor, don't lift the head up. Let's go for five. Four, three, two, and one. Come on down. And just take a quick little breather. Good. Let's come on up. Slowly come out of that, okay? Don't want to hurt yourself. And now we're going to switch to a short box. So, short box is on. And now, place a few more um, springs on. So I'm just going to add two more heavy springs. The carriage isn't moving, but that's why we want to make it heavy so the carriage doesn't move. We're going to go into our side bends. So I'm going to place my right foot into my strap, bringing my left leg over my box so I'm square towards the camera, towards you guys, working my left side right now. Going to bring my ring into my chest here. Keep tension on that ring. I'm going to trust my foot in this strap and I'm going to put all my weight into my well. And I'm going to come on up. So I'm just going into a nice, easy side bend, nothing special. I'm just squeezing the ring with my arms. So I'm working into my arms. Think about a nice, long, straight line between head to tail. This isn't, we're not coming all the way up to here. Good. 
We're going to add on to this. I'm just fixing my foot. <laughs> Good. So now come down, press that ring forward and back to chest and up. So we're just adding a little chest press, just a little variation here. This is too much for you. You can just keep the ring up at your chest. Let's go for three, squeeze that ring. Two, and one. Good, add on, down, overhead, back and up. So same thing, we're just adding levels to this. Let's go for three, two, and one. Keep it up and dip back, sorry. Now we're just gonna keep it overhead. So this is definitely advanced for four, three, two, and one. Whew, I feel that. Good. Let's go ahead and we're just going to flip around and go right into the other side. So we're going to start with the same variation. So now my right foot is over my box and my left foot's in the strap. I'm just going to keep the ring at my chest and I'm just going to bend in, bend down and up. And I'm just squeezing that ring between my hands, so keeping the tension on it. But I'm not moving that ring yet. I'm just moving at the waistline. We're going to add on to this in three, in two, and one. So when you come down, ring comes forward and back to center and up. So we're just adding that nice little chest press. Remember, pull those shoulders back. For three, two, and one. Same thing. Now we're just going to do over the head and back down. So we're just adding that over the head press. And then we'll take it to that very advanced move. And two, and one. So here, up and down with that ring overhead. For four, three. Two, and last one, come on down. And let's just sit on our box facing forward and just take a quick little after recovery. So let's just roll our head. Other way. And just take a nice little shoulder roll. And forward. Good. Let's come on up and let's put our boxes back. So we're done with our boxes. We're almost done, I promise. <laughs> Good. So now I'm going to do one red spring and one light spring. So I'm doing one heavy and one light. I'm going to bring my foot bar all the way up, okay? And I'm going to place my towel down because I'm going to get pretty sweaty. And you can bring your headrest up for this. We're going to grab our ring and we're going to come down onto our back. Place that ring between your, um, your knees, so right above your knees, where that really strong part of your inner thigh is. You're going to grab your straps. I'm going to grab my short straps. I'm going to shimmy down so I have room for my shoulders to leave the shoulder blocks. I'm going to bring my legs to tabletop. And from here, we're just going to do mid-back series. So I'm squeezing that ring with my inner thighs, and I'm just doing straight arms, lowering and lifting. But I'm still engaging those inner thighs. Good, we're gonna add on to this. So if you want, you can bring your head, neck, and shoulders up into a nice ab crunch and down. So really think about squeezing that ring with your inner thighs and then still working into that core and that back. So a lot of muscles here. And if you want, you can keep your head, neck, and shoulders up the entire time for an advanced move. So squeeze that ring. Think about trying to break it. For five, four, three, two, 
and one, come on down. Good. Take a quick breather if you need to readjust. Go ahead. Good. Legs back to tabletop, and we're going to bring our arms down and flex. So we're going to hit those triceps. So let's just keep the legs at tabletop, squeezing those inner thighs together, and just bending at that elbow joint to move that carriage in and out. Keep those arms hovered. They're not resting. You're keeping them nice and hovered over that carriage. Now let's add on. Bring your head, neck, and shoulders up. So squeezing that ring, keeping those arms hovered, engaging that core for five, for four, three, two, and one. Come on down and shake it off. Good. If your inner thighs are firing up, that's exactly what we want. Mine are definitely burning up. Good. Last exercise here, guys. Arms out to a T, legs to tabletop, and now we're going to bring them down towards our waist and back up to shoulder level. They don't start all the way up here. You want to keep them in your peripheral vision and keep a slight bend in your elbows. So almost like you're backstroking or flying. Good. If you want to add on, head and neck and shoulders up. Squeezing that ring. Engaging that core. Good. Just like this, guys. Stay strong. Focus on your breath. If this is too much, you can keep your head down. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down. Whew. Good. Good job, guys. We're almost done. So now let's go ahead and place our feet into the long straps. And I'm going to place the ring in between my ankles. And I'm going to press that carriage all the way out. From here, I'm going to go into bend and stretch. I'm going to bend my knees into chest and up. And I'm still maintaining that connection with the inner thighs. So I'm really trying to squeeze my ankles closer towards each other. So really feel that inner thigh connection as we bend our legs in and out. And you really want to try to keep your ankles slightly above your knees so the straps don't rub. Good. For three, for two, last one, keep your legs straight and now let's lower and lift straight up. Keep your tailbone heavy and pull straight down. Still. Really think about squeezing that inner thigh, that ring together. Inner thighs are on, mine are burning. And then we're still lengthening the back of the legs. If you can, add some pulses. So when you're down here, pulse, pulse, pulse. When you come up, pulse, pulse, pulse. So we're just adding some nice pulses to really fire up those inner thighs. But we're still trying to maintain the connection with the back of the legs. For four, three, two, and one. Bring it all the way down, lengthen through that spine, and just pulse the ankles together. For five, four, three, two, and one, bend your knees, and go ahead and put that ring to the side. Good job, guys. You're officially cool down mode. My inner thighs are burning. So let's push our legs all the way out, and let's go right into our leg circles. So go as wide as your hips allow you. Good. And still, try to keep your tailbone heavy when you hinge your legs up towards that ceiling. We're not lifting it. We're going to go the opposite direction in two. And one. Let's reverse direction around and pull down. Same 
and then keep that tailbone heavy for four, three, two, and one. And bend your knees and slowly come out of those straps and put them onto your head. And come on up. So if you want to stretch a little bit more, be my guest. But I am done here. So I just wanted to say I hope you guys enjoyed that reformer Pilates workout using the magic circle. Um, ring, Pilates ring, ring of fire, whichever you like to call it. Um, and if you liked this workout, please give this uh, video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, every Tuesday and Thursday at 4.30, I will, re will be releasing a new Pilates mat class. So every Tuesday and Thursday, you can definitely expect that on my channel. And in between, I will be adding Reformer Pilates. So everything Pilates. Thank you so much, guys. And I hope to see you again. Have a wonderful day.